Hello. Hello there. So my name is Eric Herman, and I'm a code base steward at the Foundation for Public Code. I'm a developer with a long history and a long time FOSS contributor. I'm Jan Einali. I'm also a code base steward at the Foundation for Public Code, and I've been in various ways working with open content for well over a decade. One of the questions I get asked a lot is, what is public code? And so we see public code as free and open source software developed for and by public organizations to achieve a public purpose or a public policy. And that's what makes it public code. And what we see is that more and more policy are using software in parts or in whole. So it essentially becomes public infrastructure. And you have almost certainly experienced that anytime you're interacting with government, that it's less and less often that you're going to an office and to a desk, and more and more often that you are going to a web portal or similar. And so at all levels of government, whether it's municipal or national, we're seeing this digital transformation of the public sector. And what's different about the websites that are run by public organizations is that they have much more stringent demands when it comes to uh, transparency, reliability, accountability, but even in the development process, predictability about when that software is going to go live, and definitely things around sustainability. And we're even seeing sovereignty as being one of the more important drivers. And all these demands can be quite daunting for if you're a small public organization or administration if you're a municipality. And that's why we're seeing them ending up working together because they have similar needs. The next municipality is not likely to have very different needs from what I do. To enable this collaboration, uh, we have the standard for public code. And the standard itself is a group of 15 criteria, each one enumerating a set of requirements that allows the collaborators and the reusers of the software to have the confidence that the software that they're working together on is going to meet those strict, stringent requirements that they have. And the standard is in English and it has community provided translations. The first one out was Spanish and we have a Danish translation being reviewed right now. And we're hoping to see a lot more of these uh, over time. When you look through these individual uh, requirements under each of the criteria, you're not going to find anything there that is going to be really novel. Uh, if you're a software developer, almost every one of these is a practice that you are probably already doing or you wish you were doing if only you had the time and management support to do it. So only things that I think you're likely to find that uh, might be different is that if you don't have a public uh, sector background, you probably haven't really thought much about how policy interacts, but all of the ones related to the software development itself are going to be extremely familiar. And that's sort of what sets the standard for public code apart from regular engineering guidelines. It's giving the different roles, all the layers in uh, your project, an assignment of what they need to do to make this work. When you have that that understanding uh, that we're collaborating on the software, that it's different than buying off-the-shelf software, obviously that means that there's going to be changes in procurement because no longer are we buying a license for three years. Instead, we are investing in what are the next features that we need and then as we learn from that in very typical agile software development way, investing in what are the next set of features that we're going to need or, or need to deliver quickly. And these things do involve a change in risk. And part of having that whole support from top to bottom is understanding how that does change the risk. And what we're seeing is that, of course, you will invest in the parts that you need the most, what's the, your highest priority. And you will see that you will benefit from what other people contribute back to the code base. So investing in the collaboration does not cost, it pays. Currently, the standard is uh, at draft version 0 0.2.3. Uh, we have it hosted on a repository up on GitHub. And we absolutely welcome contributions. Thank you.